What's up everybody? This is Repticon over at the New Jersey Pet Expo over in Edison, New Jersey. You're watching To Be Entertained. This is Scales 13. We're going to have a lot of fun here today. They got a whole bunch of animals and we're going to go to the different vendors and we're going to show you what they have. So what we have right here is a bearded dragon. These guys from, come from Australia. This is a beautiful animal. The awesome thing about these is they're omnivores. They're very easy to feed. So they eat vegetables, they eat protein, they eat a wide variety of insects. And if you don't want to feed too many insects, you can find most of their food at the grocery store because they eat a lot of greens. And one of the most awesome things about these is they're so popular in the, pre in the pet trade because of their demeanor. These guys are super, super friendly when hand raised in captivity. And if you look at the population of these animals over in Europe, these guys are actually more popular in some areas of Europe than cats. Isn't that amazing to see a reptile that's that welcomed in the home of human beings? Ooh, so I, I, I've been in business for about four to five years now. You know, I started my business as um, Cheech's Cichlids. I was a fish breeder. You know, I never would have thought I would be where I am today. I went my two year anniversary. I changed the name from Cheech's Cichlids to Cheech's Exotics. And I, I you know, I, I turned my life around doing what I love with these animals. I never really thought that, you know, I would be where I am today doing what I do. And I'm very blessed that, you know, these animals helped me turn my life around, you know, and they're, you know, and when people come and you put a smile on their face, you know, letting them know that you really love what you do and they could see it, you know, it's a, it's a whole different aspect of life. You know, like I don't call this a job, I call this a passion. You know, this is what I love at heart. And uh, what got me into this business, you know, I always had bearded dragons and fish, so I was like, you know what, I always wanted to breed higher end dragons. And I said, you know what, I'm going to do it. Yeah. So I went for it and, you know, I tried to ask people for help, nobody ever wanted to help me. You know, people don't Self like pain. to, yeah, they don't want you to do what they're doing, you know. Of course. And then it's I had people, I had them try to, try to wean me out the game because they mm. were mad because I came in so early and was stepping, I guess, on their toes where they were kind of scared, right. you know, and, but it never worked out because if you're focused and people know all the upper hand people, the community's small. It's big but small. Yeah, it's big so but small. Yep. The real people will know if somebody's not right in the game, you'll get weaned out real quick. Exactly. You know, and that's what a lot of people don't understand. Exactly. You know, like I was closed. I'm a breeding facility out of Trenton, New Jersey, okay. that went uh, full retail actually two weeks ago. Wow. So I went from a breeding facility now to a 100% legal pet shop. Man. Yep. So Cheech's Exotics is located yeah, in Trenton, New Jersey, and, and I'm open Monday through Friday, 11 to 8, Saturday, 10 to 4, you know, and it's pretty much, it's a lot different than your normal pet store. Right. I showcase all my personal breeders, gotcha. and then, you know, I literally could go grab a, grab a dragon and, yo, this is the parents, you know, mm -hmm. and people love that, you know, everything's captive, mm -hmm. you know, and like I said, it really helped me turn my life around. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. So is this one this one a boy or a girl? That's a male from Belgium. He's a Belgium import. So is that is that his uh, offspring? No, this is a pure China. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, I see. It's a leather bag. Yeah. And then, so like I have leathers and normals. So like this looks like the dad and this looks like the mom. Okay. And if you go on my page, Cheech's Exotics, you can see this pairing of the adults. Look, they're almost identical to these two dragons right here. Right. I got I to gotta say, man, this is some of the most striking, like, red colorism I've ever seen in the beer. It's like right. rustic red. Yeah, and even the contrast between the bands of the red and the yellow, it's gorgeous. And then we got hypos. So right here, this is a double hat. This is a double hat, too. This is a double hat leatherback. This is a double hat normal scale. Right. Normal scale is like braille. They're more bumpy, where this is like a baby's bottom, smooth. Right. Just like the parent. Check it out. We got... This is a hypo red monster. See, mm. he's more like a blood red, right. you know? But the hets have the head and gene of the hypos. Mm. So hets throw hypos, you know? So if you were ever gonna breed, I always would say, you know, get into the hets, double het to het, will makes you a little bit of everything, you know? So like, that's my production from China right there. Man, that's gorgeous. Look at the difference in these three animals. But they're all equally stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Uh -huh. Then you got, look, this is a normal scale hypo. Mm -hmm. You know how I just showed you the leatherback hypo. Ooh. Oh. Hey guys, pay attention. Look at that. 
even outside of the coloration, look at how healthy these animals are. I can look at their skin and their tails and their digits, and you can just see. So these two are hypos. Thriving, thriving. You see, you got the normal, the normal, leatherback, leatherback. Mm. So, also, a lot of people don't know, they always ask, like, why are some leatherbacks, why are some normal? Right. You know, that's because when, when you breed, I put a normal to a leather. So half the clutch is 50 50, you know? Right. So, yep. Mm -hmm. That's the best way to do it. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Man, oh, man. Dude, these are some of the prettiest beer dragons I've ever seen. And I've worked in pet shop for years raising these things. So, it's just sweet. Then I got, like, check out this one. This one's in shed right now. Okay. See, so a lot of people don't know this. They always ask, like, is that his color? So bearded dragons shed in sections. Mm -hmm. Normally they got their head go first, tail go first, legs. Look, like you can see right now, he's got his whole, his whole back is in shed mm -hmm. only. His I belly is in, is in shed, you know? You could, if you look at the two different colors, you can see that right here is in shed and this just shed out. Right. You can see right up here, he just shed out this part, but that's still right there, you know? So people don't realize that as babies, they're shedding weekly every two weeks, right. you know, because they got to grow. Exactly. Adults don't shed like that because they're already mature, right. you know? So their skin doesn't have to replace itself as often because they're already a full, full Correct. Size. Absolutely, absolutely.